So let's do section 4.4 4, exercise uh, 52. And here we're to get an average value of the function. And so if I want the average of f of x on the interval, now we're told, well, let me write that down over here, uh, we're told f of x is equal to 4 times x squared plus 1 over x squared. Uh, now, I notice that that is um, 4 times uh, 1 plus 1 over x squared. That's a, another way to uh, look at it. And they're interested in the average value on 1, 3. So I know the average value of f on 1, 3 is the definite integral uh, from 1 to 3 of f of x uh, dx and then all divided by the width of that interval, so 3 minus 1. Okay, so that is equal to 1 half from the 1 over, one over 3 minus 1 times the integral of 1 to 3 and um, I'm, I'm going to write it that way just because it'll be easier to do the antiderivative uh, so this is 4 times 1 plus 1 over x squared uh, dx now I can factor the 4 out and multiply by the 1 half so I get 2 oops now uh, oh never mind I, I was going to say oh I forgot to divide by 3 minus 1 but <laughs> that's what the 1 over 2 was so 2 times the integral from 1 to 3 of 1 plus x to the negative 2 dx. Now I use my fundamental theorem of calculus, so I have 2 times uh, x plus x to the negative 1 over negative 1. Um, and then that's evaluated from 1 to 3. So this is 2 times, now putting 3 in, I get a 3, plus, now, uh, oops, minus, okay, because I've got a negative 1 down there, so minus, uh, and this is 1 over x, so 1 third. So I have that, and then minus uh, 1 minus 1. Okay, so that is just 0. And so I have uh, 9 thirds minus 1 third, which is 8 thirds. So 2 times 8 thirds, or 16 over 3. Okay, and so there we've uh, found the average value. Uh, 16 over 3, you know, so kind of checking these, 16 over 3 is uh, 5 and a third. And you know, again, looking at this thing, um, you know, what happens on that function? So here's 1, there's 3, and at 1, um, the value is uh, 8, so we're up here at 8, and at 3, I get um, 1 plus a ninth. Uh, so that would be 4 times 4 ninths, so about 4 and a half. Um, you know, so I'd be here at, you know, f uh, 4 and a ninth, which is, what, 37 over 9. Okay, well, um, you know, so 4 and a ninth, it seems like the average, you know, well, definitely the average should be between those two numbers, and 5 and a third is. And then, well, this function is doing something like this. So, you know, I get more numbers down here that are a little lower and fewer that are a little higher. And so, yeah, I think 5 sounds pretty good. So it was, uh, what, 16 thirds, 5 and a third. And so that is our number 52.